Hi, my name's Sadie, and I need everyone's help. I'm completely new to this whole thing, so I'm really sorry if the audio quality's not the best or if I do some kind of faux pas, but I've tried Google and all I keep getting back is just fiction or things that are completely irrelevant. I've checked book after book after book out of the library, but I've come back with nothing. I have talked to person after person after person I could find, but none of them could help me, so this is my next try. I guess before I get into what my problem actually is, I should tell you a little bit about myself. I'm 26. I live in a foresty area on the outskirts of a city. My house has been in my family for countless generations. Two floors and a basement. Got a beautiful wraparound porch. I love it. There's been nothing too major to happen here. A few deaths, but old age, illness, you know, that kind of thing. There's a forest behind my property. I'm not really sure how many acres are mine, but I don't have neighbors for miles around, so I kind of come and go as I please. The forest is amazing. The trees are so beautiful, and there's a few different streams and even some waterfalls. I spent most of my childhood in the forest, and I just love going out there. It's so beautiful. I have two cats, Kilara and Mishka, my protectors, really. They showed up at my house one day. They saved my life. But... That's a story for a different day. Growing up, my life was pretty normal. I was an only child, but my parents made sure I had plenty of playmates, and my relatives, my cousins, would come and visit quite often. My parents divorced when I was 19, but they're still friends. They just kind of drifted apart from each other. There was no major fighting or anything growing up, nothing special, and I was sad to see them part, but... I could tell they were much happier away from each other, and when they do end up together at, you know, things such as Christmas or my birthday, they're always very friendly to each other and talking and laughing, so overall it's not that bad. Um, I have a normal 9 to 5 job. I, I like it. It's, it gets the bills paid and my coworkers and bosses, they're, they're really friendly. It's no dream job by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm happy there. I'm single by choice. It's... it's just easier. I guess I should get into what my problem is now. I must... I must emphasize the fact I am not crazy. My parents took me to doctors and therapists when I was little, and none of them could find anything wrong with me, and I've had proof that I'm not crazy, that what I'm seeing is really happening. I, um, I see things, creatures, I've, I've had experiences. Usually when I see them, I am alone, but sometimes I can be completely surrounded by people and I'm the only one who seems to be able to see them. Except for on a few very rare occasions. I have seen someone else in the crowd who has seen them. I'll catch them just staring. There was this one time, there was this creature, I, I saw him in an alleyway chewing on something, I, I heard the crunching, I heard, I heard noises, I didn't really get a good look at the creature, but I started to run, it started to chase me, and I knew it 
could have caught me at any time it wanted. It was just playing with me. At one point, I ducked into an alleyway, and it swiped at me, and I heard its claws hit the wall behind me, scrape along it. I barely escaped from it. There was a group of people that appeared out of nowhere, and I guess the creature didn't like crowds because it, it disappeared. The next afternoon, I went back and... There were claw marks on the wall. People were talking about it, too. It was decided that it had been a prank by teens, but I knew better. I knew what had happened. They weren't just small claw marks. They were massive. Half an inch wide. Several inches long would have taken my head clean off. But other people saw the claw marks. They were there. They weren't just a figment of my imagination. Not all the creatures I see try to do harm to me. Sometimes they seem more scared of me than I am of them. Sometimes they just seem to watch me curiously. Some of them do try to hurt me, though. I don't... I don't think it's me specifically. I don't think I'm being picked out of a crowd of people. I think it's just my turn for them. I've never come across one who seemed to know who I was or seemed to care. It was just, I was the next person they stumbled upon. I see them everywhere. Sometimes they enter my house. Sometimes they enter my dreams. Sometimes they are in the forest. And sometimes they're in the city. I can't escape them. I've never been able to. So, I'm going to start posting my experiences. If anything new happens, I'll make a video as fast as I can so that all the details are fresh and new. And other than that, I'll post experiences that have happened to me in the past, so maybe I can get some answers. If you know who or what these creatures are, or if you know why I see them, please, please let me know. I, I don't know what I hope to find in the answers, but maybe I can find some peace, some peace of mind, some peace of sanity. I'm not really sure what else to say, so feel free to comment if you have any answers or if you have any questions. And I guess that's it for now, so until next time.